It feels good to be back. Hello everyone and welcome back to Total War Shogun 2. It's been a couple of months now since I've played this, obviously very busy with Free Kingdoms for the longest time. But I know that some of you have been eager for me to play some Total War Shogun 2 again, so... I feel, and I am too! Uh, I mean, some people were worried that I was never going to get back to it. Uh, just assumed that I moved on to greener pastures, I suppose, but no, no, no. Uh, my channel is still very much Shogun 2 based. Free Kingdoms have has definitely um, entered into that as well, and it will definitely be a mainstay on the channel. Um, more so than any other game has been before, for example, like Warhammer. Uh, most of the games I, I, I played for a bit and then I kind of moved on again or back I suppose to Shogun 2 um, But Free Kingdoms will definitely stay, but it doesn't mean I'm not gonna be playing Shogun 2 anymore I'm, I'm gonna be playing quite a bit of Shogun 2 in the future still as well because I still quite enjoy this game now Before we jump into a campaign. I will you well, you'll probably immediately say there's some see there's something a little bit different I'm actually playing on 1440p now um this definitely makes the video quality, or should do at least, uh, a little bit better. The other, the downside, however, is that the UI will be, be a little bit smaller. Um, I'm probably, because I, I can imagine that some people will actually complain about that. Um, I'm probably going to stick to 1440p either way, though, unless the complaints become, like, a huge amount. Uh, unless, like, a lot of people are saying, no, go back to 1080p because I can't see what's going on, I can't read anything, which is definitely a possibility, I'm not sure. I guess on phones it wouldn't be too bad. And actually, no, yeah, on phones it would be even worse because, yeah, no, okay, well, we'll see. Anyway, let me guys, l let me know what you guys think. If 1440p is just not worth the quality upgrade if you can't read the text anymore. Um... And if you do like it, then also let me know, so there's not just a whole bunch of complaints and no one saying anything positive. Now, anyway, let's do a campaign. This is one that's uh, been uh, asked of me many times over the years, I suppose, and I think I've considered doing it many uh, times as well. And that is the uh, Monk Only Units Challenge. Monk Units Only Challenge, even. Um, which can be played, well, you can play with anyone, really, except for the Otomo, I suppose. Uh, but I've chosen the Ikuiki. The main, the two main contenders, of course, would be the Ikuiki and the uh, Weisugi. Uh, but the Ikuiki makes more sense because they get earlier access to uh, Naginata Warrior Monks uh, from the first building rather than the second one. And then you need a Naginata Dojo or something. And then basically you get them sooner than the Weisugi or anyone else does. Um, so just to clarify, a monk only challenge, all the monk units are allowed, uh, obviously not just monk uh, general, or sorry, monk uh, agents, because that would be a revolt only challenge, which I think I've done as well in the past, but never finished. Um, I'm using a couple of mods, the same ones I've been using since forever, so if you've seen any of my previous Let's Plays, you'll know which ones they are. Nothing that changes gameplay in any way, shape, or form, but uh, it's just the camera, everything will be in the description as well, of course. The camera mod lets me zoom out further in battle. The uh, Vastator Unit Pack mod changes the looks of units a little bit. The uh, Campaign Overhaul looking mod, uh, not Campaign Overhaul as in the, yeah, you, aesthetically it looks different. It looks like the campaign map from, um, from the Rise of the Samurai campaign. And of course this intro screen is different as well. Anyway, and also the loading screens are fixed, but that's a pretty minor mod. Now, I am going to just jump in. I'm also going to skip past the cutscene. I'm going to talk through this loading screen for the moment. But yeah, skip past the cutscene. Um, because we've seen it many times. All of the cutscenes. I think this is what I tended to do with Shogun 2 campaigns in general. At a certain point. is Whenever I do a challenge run, I just skip past cutscenes. Because, I mean, if you want to see them, just watch my regular Let's Play. On we this clan. And also going to skip this. We are the Right, so this text, I guess, is okay. Um, that's quite small, and then obviously, like anything, like UI in general. I mean, this is tiny over here. This is quite small. Uh, I can read it just fine, and I don't have any issue with it. But if you're watching on 480p, you know, if your internet can't handle any better, then this will just look smaller to you, and it will just look worse, basically. But for those of you who do have normal internet and can watch on 1440p or on 1080p. It would probably still be fine. But yeah, let me know. Let me know what you think. I quite like the idea of recording on 1440p. I can't do it on all uh, games, which is why I haven't done it on Free Kingdoms yet, because it's just my PC just can't currently handle it. I need to put in that CPU I got from uh, Intel and CA, like that care package that maybe some of you have seen. 
500 fucking euro CPU. I need to shove that in my computer and then I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, but yeah, Shogun 2, I, I tested it. I just did some battles and it, it worked totally fine on 1440p. Uh, Warhammer 2, I think I might, if I end up doing the quest battles like I talked about in the recent video, I'm going to do that on 1440p as well. But um, Free Kingdoms will stay 1080p. And again, if the UI sucks on this, if it's too small, then I'll change this back to 1080p as well. Anyway, first and foremost, you guys are no warrior monks and thus you are gone. Um, I am allowed to recruit or yeah use any uh, agents I want to use. Of course, it's just a unit challenge, so I'm limited to certain units. But I'm still allowed to use well the regular monk. Obviously, he's a monk too, so that would make sense. But also, I can let myself recruit the ninja. Can't recruit the Metsuke as the Ikuiki though, which sucks because such a good unit or such a good agent. Right, you're gonna go into Kaga. Currently, not at war with anyone, as far as I'm aware. No, I'm trading with the Anagakoji, and everyone hates me, of course. Um. So let's get some trade going, or not. 200 bucks, I'll think about it. How about that? Let's see if I can trade with some other people first. What a tiger right, back to the old diplomacy from Shogun 2. <laughs> can also do a, um, speak. A, a marriage here. I wonder if that would help. Oh, maybe not a thousand. Sorry, don't pay. God, I gotta get used to this again. It's been a long time. Um, yeah, that might make our families might make oh okay never mind so say it might make it less likely to declare war on me of course i need a little bit to be able to set up i need some time given to me essentially I uh, what about your marriage what you say, but it had oh, you actually did. take that i'm not really worried about you declaring war on me though because you're gonna die to the oda soon anyway okay you want to trade two years to my west at your door. and of course in you this game the magnificent thing of when you break a trade agreement it doesn't actually speak cause any problems with being dishonorable or anything like that. All right, have you changed your mind since I've checked? Yes, you have. There you go. An unexpected meeting may Always worth checking back on stuff like that. Okay, I'm not going to get any money from you. Let us see what uh, all right, and then the Saito, still unacceptable. Okay. Now, monkey boy, what I could do with you is shove you over in Wakasa or any other town basically. I think the mission is actually to go to Omi, isn't it? We got the success chance. Yeah, we need to convert this place over. Um, I think, however, it might be worth keeping you nearby to demoralize people as fast as possible. Right, so we already have the Jodo Shinsu Temple here. In order to recruit the Ikuiki Naganata Warrior Mon Garrison, we. Oh, sorry, the regular unit. Um, we also need a Naganata Dojo, which means we need to upgrade this place right away. I don't like upgrading... Oh yeah, our food's gonna get fucked if I do that too, actually. I may be forced to actually upgrade a farm first. Ugh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Basically turning, or like, going back another turn before I'm actually able to do that, but... Um, yeah, otherwise my food issue, be or food becomes an issue and that doesn't work. So, yeah, I guess we'll upgrade a farm first. I think, yeah, that one's very fertile. I guess I can do both, just to get it out of the way. I also can't actually build the Jodo Shinsu Temple yet, so we got to research that. Because I start with one, but I can't actually build them yet, so... Um, I think morale is a bit pointless when I don't have any units yet, so yeah, I guess I will straight up go for Zen. Um, and then, yeah, I kind of want to keep you nearby, in case I need to demoralize people if I do get attacked. Most likely from the Jinbo. Um, Wakasa. Wait, what did I start with, by the way? I started trade with the Anagakoji. That was just a thing that already was going on. Okay, fair enough. They're going to die soon, though. No. Can you get in there? No. Let's get in there, then. Um, so, yeah, do I want to build a building here? So, in order to get the next unit, that would be the Bowery Monk, we would have to get the next tier building then we can get them we can also get marathon monks but we require the proving grounds for that which is one of the encampment upgrades and then we also can get quickie war uh matchlock monks equicky matchlock warrior monks uh, but i require the gunsmith for that which is going to be like fucking ages away because that's down here yeah so that's not going to happen for a very long time. And of course we get the Cav as well, but they're also super far away. So currently, anyway, there's no point really building anything specific. I could go for the Yari Joy Yard and then also build this here and then have two places where I can pump them out. The thing is, they're super expensive, so we're not going to be able to really afford much anyway. So there's no point having several recruitment centers immediately. So I got to start making bank. Now we can't build a market yet, so 
I think for the moment I'm just going to make the sake then, I suppose, but I think for the moment I'll leave that empty, just build another farm up or something. Uh, not necessarily too interested in upgrading our our um, roads right just just right away. It would be nice if we can move units in between here in a single turn, but I also don't want to speed up the enemy reinforcements coming in faster. So I think for the moment, yeah, getting two farm upgrades is pretty good, especially because we make so much money from farms. And of course, I'm not allowed to recruit any units, so we are down to just our two generals, um, which we can also have a look at real quick. So our daimyo. Distrustful, fanatic, casually brutal. Not bad, actually. I don't remember all the, st the specific statistics of each general, to be honest, and the true believer. Yeah, I think all the generals get that special ability. And we got an eight year old son as well. Alright, sounds good. I'm also not really too in uh, interested in upgrading the port right away because I don't think we're going to be able to catch uh, this. And even if we could, it's, it would take too long to get it all figured out and having a. Uh, a full trade navy, trade ship navy, and then, or a fleet, I suppose it is, people keep repeating to me. Um, and then also a uh, an actual defending force, it would just be too difficult to get that done. Master Essence of the Spirit, we get a unit that we need. Alright, well I guess we're gonna go for that, well, no, I'll hold off for that, but it's actually seven turns, I think we might need to go for some unit stuff after that. And to the Fukin would be very good as well, in fact. But for the moment, yeah, definitely going for Zen right away. Okay, so, uh, do I want to upgrade the armor as much as I would like to? I don't think that's really worth doing right now. Uh, this one is worth it, because it actually gives me money as well, if only a little bit, but... Um, upgrading this to a trade port does give me a lot of money, so I think that party would be worth it. Um, but I don't know. I kind of want to build a sake den, but I also want to recruit units, so if I build a sake den here, it means I still need to build a Jodo Shinzu temple as well as the archery dojo, which means I need three buildings here and upgrade this twice, which isn't going to happen for a long time, so I think I'm just going to get that and this one. I'm going to go for the accuracy, of course, although accuracy is a bit overrated if you think about it. People have been saying this to me as well. Um, that's In some cases, perhaps it's not worth going for golden accuracy, because while it looks fantastic, um, the limit is technically a hundred, so when you get over that, it's it's kind of pointless. And when you have uh, improved Naginata, or sorry, improved Bow Warrior monks, you're gonna definitely go over that one hundred mark. So it's not necessarily, uh, it's yeah, it's not necessarily, it's not necessary, and it's not needed. It's not necessarily needed. Um, so I think I actually, I'm, I think I'm still gonna go for it, but there's quite a bit more money going for that. But no, I'm gonna go for it. I think it's it's still worth it for a long time, because it takes a while to get up to 100 accuracy. We can always recruit, or we can always build the other ones into uh, more money, you know, that makes sense, doesn't it? I think it makes sense. Let's just all agree it makes sense. Uh, also I should mention, for those of you who are commenting saying, oh there goes the Asai, for those of you who are saying and uh, commenting that... Um, you want me to change back to 1080p please remember that i probably will have a couple episodes recorded already i'm not going to have a, a whole fleet of episodes of this ready to go up um it'll probably just be a handful maybe up to five or something because i'm going to recruit uh, currently it's it's uh friday the 6th of september um i'm probably going to recruit a couple of them today maybe a couple tomorrow and i'm probably going to start uploading this campaign tomorrow I could wait until both of the Free Kingdoms campaigns are done, but I'm probably not going to do that, because I'm eager to get this up when you guys are eager. Okay, Takagawa, what a surprise, they died first. Um, okay, so we got uh, Way of Chi, we can build the market now, and we're going for Zen. I do need the market as well, for money purposes. It hurts me not to build it right away. Uh, also, I should have been building this last turn. I'm actually, yeah, I kind of fucked myself. I'm one turn further behind than I needed to be. But I can, as long as I survive, I can rectify it, and, or not rectify, I can uh, justify it by saying, well, I made more money this way. Um, so, yeah, I've slowed my dance, myself down a little bit, but it also will probably end up, end up working out alright. I'm going to upgrade the roads here, because they don't they're like all this whole bit and then only this tiny bit for the AI to, to have extra speed. If I upgraded them here, this, they would have a lot of pathing here that would speed them up through my lands. 
Tori, may I interest you in some trade? Oh, I can. I think you actually might be up for an alliance, no you're not. I feel like I allied the four with the Ikuiki. Uh, with the Hattori. Okay, give me a bunch of money. Ooh. Ooh, oh. Oh yeah, and for those of you who are new to my channel, and are now like, hey, he's playing Shogun too. Um, I, uh, I've been playing this game for a while as my older fans will attest. So I know about all the tricks and stuff. Uh, if people still ask me sometimes, why don't you sell trade agreements? Uh, sorry, why don't you why don't you sell military access? Um, and the reason is I think it's cheesy. Some people have tried to argue with me saying it's not cheesy. Um, I think it's cheesy simply because you're selling something to an AI that you know they're not gonna use. They don't need, they don't want your military access. Um, but you're selling it to them knowing that they will not make use of it and you're just getting money for it essentially. And sometimes the only thing they'll use it for is to actually declare war on you because they'll be like, oh, I can move up all the way to his capital and then declare war on him. So it kind of works out in a shitty way as well sometimes. The reason I don't think selling trade agreement is a bad thing or is cheesy is because you want trade with them and they want trade with you. It makes them money. So they have, you know, they have a reason to pay you for it because, oh my god. Because it's something that will help them as well. That is an interesting thing that just happened there. So I'm guessing now Tori... I'm not sure, actually, I was going to say, you guys are allied to... Or, uh, allied... Sorry, the Altori are allied to the Ashikaga Shogunate, but that's not necessarily true. Also, that doesn't work in this game. Um, they are just at war with the Ashikaga Shogunate, yeah. Oh, they are actually allies. That's still still the case, but didn't have to be. Speak. Uh, okay, Oda. I would love to trade with you. Yeah, I didn't think so. What a tiger growls Because you're going to be attacking me at some point, and I'm not going to like that at all. So they took out, yeah, they took out the uh, Saito here. Kind of a hard time trying to remember every single name in this game, but... Right, I'm gonna upgrade that one too, I think. And then I probably should get the Archery Dojo. If I have nothing else that makes me money, I could upgrade this again, but right now I get 1-1. One, one. It doesn't really matter if I get 2. I'm probably gonna go for armor, by the way. Um, Probably go for a mix, actually. Go for the... Uh, what is it again? Hold on, let me check. The encampment gives... The armory gives two armor, and then the melee attack is... Let me see it from here. Plus two. Yeah, so it's two and two. Right, so I get the armory, which gives two armor, but I get the weaponsmith, which gives four melee attack. Because here it's four as opposed to... Um, free, so you get one more melee attack out of it, but if you make the encampment, it's two versus two, in which case the armor is valued higher, basically. So I think, yeah, we get the two armor and the four melee attack. The armor is just to help us get to the enemy, because we're not, even though this, it's going to be really weird, these armies, because normally when you uh, field a bunch of bowery monks, you want a really defensive, like, solid, strong front line to tank the enemy while your arrows or your archers do all the work. But obviously, that doesn't really work when our Frontline unit has like three armor or two armor. What is it again? Two armor? Yes, yeah, it's two armor. I thought it was two, but I was like, nah, it can't be two. Three. But no, yeah, it's actually two. So when your frontline unit has two armor, you can't really sit there tanking arrows. So yeah, and they're super expensive too. They're way too expensive to sit around doing nothing. So our armies are going to be a bit weird. We're probably going to have to field very aggressive armies while also having bow warrior monks. But anyway. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get the archery dojo, I guess. Let's start getting that out. And then once this once this gets upgraded, we can get the other temple here. Still not a war of anyone, but yeah, anyone but that can switch, and then we're gonna be fucked immediately. We are two turns away from that, and then I need to build the building upgraded once as well. So I think that's five turns, isn't it? I need to use my new mouse ability to scroll faster and not make it super loud for you guys. Yeah, that's, uh, I think this one is two turns, and then the upgrade is three turns. Okay. Um, yep. So we're seven turns away from being able to recruit units, which take two turns to recruit, so... In essence, we are... Nine turns away. Okay, that's good. The Hattori being at war with someone else other than me is a nice thing to see from me. 
haven't upgraded any further yet. I want to upgrade this because we get the trade agreement through C. Do we upgrade the roads or do we get this after all? I am tempted to just get this. Roads don't give me any money yet until I can upgrade them. Um, yeah, let's just get the weaponsmith upgrade. It, it's it's kind of pointless. We lose an armor, we gain a melee attack, which isn't necessarily a good trade-off. Right now, in fact, with our armies, it's not a good trade-off at all. But if we can upgrade it again, which we can't actually now, let's just leave it. We haven't got any iron, unless we are trading iron, which is possible, I suppose. Um... No, we're not. So yeah, we wouldn't even be able to upgrade it to the next level. So I think it's worth not actually doing that. Ah, <sighs> okay. Oh. Oh, fuck, there we go. Well. Our first war. Hopefully they just linger around there for a while. Lost our trade. What the... Okay, so we got a unit if we do this. So in seven turns, we'd have a unit immediately, which would be great. Um, also, yeah, not having... Because current in this place, we at least have a unit, uh, the Ikuiki Naginata Warrior Mon Garrison, which is a pretty good garrison. But we don't get that here. We will get one in three turns, so hopefully we'll be able to get that done. I'm going to send you over here as well. I bet you the Jimbo is going to attack me because I just did that. Just watch. Hold on. How about we meet, we fight together against this Tory threat now? Fair enough. Um, what do we have then? We have right. Yes, uh, this. Do I want to go for the essence of the spirit right away? I kind of want to go for Tudo Fukin. I would like to get a free unit. Normally, I'd be like, no, I don't want it because I want to recruit him in a place where I can get the armor upgrade or weapon upgrade or whatever immediately. Um, but right now, I'll take a freaking unit, even in seven turns, but Totofukin's pretty good. Although, yeah, I guess post roads and stations doesn't actually give us rice exchange, because we don't have any markets. Plus, I wouldn't... Yeah, actually, no, I would build them in these two provinces. Um, hmm. A little bit awkward. This is, like, the late gameplay. This is the early gameplay. Like, I need, I need this for survival, I need this for... Uh, to be fair, I need this building to actually be able to get my bow warrior monks as well. So you know what? No, let's do that. Let's take the early game play that also kind of works as a mid game play. And then we build some buildings. Fantastic. Right, well now I'm actually legitimately out of stuff to build. I do need money next turn, but if I uh, don't have enough money, I can always cancel this anyway. Alright. Alright, no new wars, and they didn't show up just yet, but it doesn't guarantee that they're not just over there right now. Alright, so in two turns we'll have a Naginata Warrior Mon Garrison. Please let me get that. Uh, Alright, I can't upgrade anything else. We need Chenindo for that, which is going to be a long ways away. A long ways away. Can't actually build anything. Well... What a very easy turn in that case. Oh, the first boat's been built right there. Alliance broken, Hojo Takeda. Good. Everyone fight each other. Ooh. Um, let's put a guess out. It'll be someone on the starting on the left island, so Shimazu, Otomo, Mori. I'm gonna go for let's say Shimazu, Mori. Oh. Okay. Right. Oh fuck! Any strategy defense for that? Ah, oh, I forgot about that. No. <laughs> oh god! I wasted two turns on this. Oh fuck. Okay, so I'm five turns away from recruiting. I gotta go for that. Although, funny enough, in five turns I'd get a unit, but then I have to go an extra five turns. Okay, so I wasted two turns of my life, really. Oh man, I need to survive until then. You leveled up. Congratulations. Can I get some, uh, I don't know what I need, really. Inspiring armies. What do I normally go for monks? These guys are slightly different as well, I believe. Inciting unrest. Oh yeah, definitely. I need to go for inciting unrest. 
yeah, we'll go for one each. Because inciting arrest is going to give us the ability to spawn armies, and then we can get rid of whatever we don't want. Inspiring. Let's make inspiring tons. Okay, yeah, I made a fucking mistake. So I still have zero food, so actually upgrading this doesn't even help me. Well, at least next turn we have a, a garrison unit there, which is something. But it's not great. I really wish I checked what exactly I needed. Oh, hello. Yeah, go that way. Go stand outside of your town on that side, please. Army sabotage attempt. You could have done so many things that you chose to go for the army sabotage. Okay. Oh, yeah, I was level 2, so my chance to do something is very small, but I still gotta try it. Hey! Nice one. That was lucky. Take that. Alright, so we can't upgrade this yet. We can upgrade that so we can get, um... It's, um... Yeah, of course, it's Fall of Summer that gets you a ton of income. This one doesn't actually, it just gives us more units to recruit. Well, I mean, it's not like I've got anything else to do with this money. Also, I got my trade agreement for C now. Does anyone want to trade? Nope. Yoda. Alliance, maybe. Probably should check other people for alliances. Been playing this one a bit risky, but to be fair, we haven't got any units, so no one wants to, al to ally with me, because they're like, well, <laughs> you're a bit weak. I don't know if you realize this, but um, you have two units, and they're all generals. Do you realize we're at war? You should be. Ha you should have a standing army, sir. All right. Um, let's hire another monk. Welcome, monkey boy. I should have probably popped him out over here in case the enemy has another ninja, but they probably won't. They, yeah, they might show up soon. But we have we have the garrison at least. We get bigger garrisons from this, by the way. Yeah, we got two. Oof, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Four turns away. Can we do anything with this? Nope, nothing. All right. Just gotta end turn for four more turns. It's, it's not gonna be the most exciting first episode. I can guarantee you that much. I just hope I survive. War declared. Tomashimazu. Oh, they weren't even at war yet. And the Shoni has adopted Christianity. No real surprise there. That ninja's still sitting there. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I don't remember that happening. Oh my god, if they were to... Anyone right now were to attack me, to be fair. Oh god, I'm rich. I'll just pay people off, right? Yeah, I legitimately will have to do that. Okay. Three more turns, then I can start recruiting units. And then, again, it takes two turns to recruit each one. Oh, fuck. Okay, well, let's hope they attack with that. Ah, oh, Takiyama, okay. That's, the, that's not too bad. Oh, no, wait, they're over here. Fuck! But they usually don't recruit units there. Oh, please tell me they didn't recruit units there. Uh, can I speed up my research in any way? That'd be great. Wealth generated by farms. Happiness per turn to town growth across all provinces. Uh, we only have two provinces, so this is probably better currently. Let's make more money. Alright, maybe like 300 bucks per turn. Can I try a demoralized? Yeah, because if they wait for extra reinforcements, we're going to be fucked. If it's just this, I think we stand a chance. But yeah, we are now war with the Hatakiyama, who own obviously several provinces all over the place, but depending on if they've got units here or not, we may have a problem. Currently have five food, so technically I could build this, but obviously by the time those get built, we lose that five food, and then all of a sudden we're gonna be fucked again. So, yeah, I guess I gotta try and demoralize at least. Nice, that might help. But yeah, if they wait for reinforcements, it's not good. Nice level three already. That's gonna help a lot. Um, kind of tempted to just max that out, but no, we gotta go for this. And then maybe I can just have some rebellion spawn in his place. I just send him that way. Probably get killed by a ninja, but I gotta try something. Weaponsmith's done. If only I was getting iron, I'd be able to upgrade this right away and get that over with. That'd be great. Is anyone around here got iron? Actually, not Kiyama have iron, but you know, I'm at war with them. There's a faction over here that has iron, but I haven't met them yet, so. The answer to that is a whopping no. Alright. Well, there's nothing we can do here. Just gotta fight the battle. Oh, fuck. 
They're allied to the anti -gate. No, they're not allied to the Atori, sorry. That's not good. Shit, they're waiting for reinforcements. Or no, it's, it's a ninja. Shit, ninja's coming over. And he killed my fucking dude. God damn it. Well, he may not have killed him. Alright, well, this fight should be pretty simple. Pretty straightforward. There's not even a general here, which is great. Oh, God. I really want to survive this, this first episode. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to be possible if I don't. Well, I c okay, so technically, if I survive this battle, the next turn I would have been able to recruit units had I realized I needed to build in a different order, or like get my tech up in a different order. So I, I am two turns behind where I could have been. So yeah. It kind of depends on if the Oda also decides to just come and attack me, which I guess they will because they're allied to that Tori. Annoyingly. Right, let's pop you guys outside somewhere because there's two archer units that need to get taken care of. Let's see if I remember how to fight these battles. This is a small uh, castle, so I can't really reliably. Um, where's your archers at? Wait, are they at the front somewhere? No. Yes, they're there. Fuck. Oh god, okay. Uh, yeah, I was just gonna say, I can't really reliably put my units here and, and try and keep them away from the archers to make them climb up, but... I'm sure as fuck gonna try. Actually, just go on the wall here, I guess. I can at least distract their units. I can't really charge in there, though, because those guys will just fuck me. Yeah, I can't really run towards them either, because they'll just get shot. Those guys will mess up my generals pretty rapidly. Well, This is going to be a bit awkward. And I also don't want to lure them that way, because then they're going to be in range of these units, so... Awkward. I'm at least distracting some units, so... I gotta just, I gotta keep coming this way. I could sneak through there, but there's no point. I do need them to climb up. I just don't want them to shoot me. So if they decide to climb up, then I guess that's okay. Because then we get our cavalry back up and we just fight them on top of the castle. At least we have towers already. Not that that's doing a whole lot, but still. Ooh, I think they might be climbing. I need the second unit to start climbing too, and that one definitely isn't. That one is, though. Unless it's going to start climbing here, but it's in range to start firing, so I doubt it will. I'm actually going to pull you guys back this way, see if I can sneak around there. Come on, climb, you bastards. Don't shoot me. i got to start moving my units over. We have this uh, ability as well, which is fantastic. Our units are going to be tired soon. Our generals, that is. They get tired pretty rapidly. Alright, both archers are climbing. That's good. If I can set you guys up in Yari Wall right here, that'd be fantastic. Get my... You guys in there to... Oh, they're gonna take the towers first. Yeah, that's fair enough. Yeah. Run. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Oof. Snuck him right through there. Okay, so you're gonna just hold them back for a while. This is my, like, not really last resort, last resort even, but uh, just a unit. Can't really charge into units like this with my calf. It's a bit awkward. Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking take the tower. Let's not let him do that. Okay, I'll try and charge in here, but the thing is, they'll probably just go around and try and get up on the castle. Oh, yep, they're, they're got off. We don't wanna have that happen. You're just going to be distraction teams at this point. Try and thin out the ranks a bit. Um, hello? That's not what I meant to do. Get over here. Some as well, I guess. Okay. Yeah, I don't want them to take the towers. That would be bad. If they start firing at me here, that'd be, that would not be good. Uh, these are all garrison units, so actually I don't care about who dies here, because the moment this battle is over, they'll all be full health again. Well, these their units are getting tired too. Yes, we captured their tower. Fuck yeah. We did it, boys. What a victory. Alright, let's get in there. 
Do I just get him back inside the castle now? That unit's fucking part of that one running after me over here. Um, yeah, I think I'll just get him inside now. The archers are already inside, and that was my main goal. And at this point, look, I'm killing the last unit too, up here, and then it's just going to be shattered units up here. And we're not going to be fighting anything anymore specific. I should be able to uh, get you guys inside, no problem here. Shattered, shattered, yeah. All right, let's pull you guys over here. I'm just going to have you guys on the flanks. I swear to God, if I don't get you guys inside in time... My replenishment is going to be horrible as well, so if I lose any of my general men here, it's going to take ages to get them back to full health again. Come on! Get in! The last couple are going to get tanked. Damn it, I lost two already. Okay, let's, let's just two. It's okay. Probably going to replenish like one a turn or something, so it's not going to be great. Alright, welcome to my humble abode. I should probably actually fight them over here. Fight them on the beaches. Make sure they don't take my uh, tower. I just don't, like, I don't care if they take it necessarily. Like in um, in other games, where, like in Free Kingdoms, where it doesn't do anything against my men then. But if it starts hurting my men, in this game it does. That's not good. If it was just like this, it's fine. Even burn it. Burn it to the fucking ground. No, don't do that, because then I gotta repair my own castle. <laughs> Didn't think that one through, did I? Alright. Let's get some buffs going. Yeah, let's hold off on the next one, actually. You're amazing. Alright, I can probably triple speed this now. There isn't much of a challenge to this fight anymore. Time to get everyone fucking gone. See you later. My lord! A glorious Actually, on. victory will soon be yours! Yeah, I do want to continue this. I didn't think about that, but yeah, I want to kill as much as humanly possible here. I did not think that through at all. I should have put a unit in there. Right, I can still triple speed this though. I'm gonna lose some men to fucking archery now. No, don't go that way. Don't go chasing that guy there. Didn't actually lose anyone from archery. Fantastic. Kill this one, please. Huh, get in there. I don't care how you do it, just kill him. Fucking fuck the Hattori up. Yeah, I think I might. If I get lucky, I'll be able to sue for peace after this fight. Great. Heroic victory. Yeah, I'd say so. Good start to the campaign, guys. If I can get another heroic victory... Actually, I think... Do you, do you get honor after one? I don't even remember. If I get more forces like that, I'll definitely be able to hold off the enemy until I can get units. I really fucked up not getting the right research done immediately. If I lose the campaign because of that, it would really suck. Okay, I lost 96 dudes. Unfortunately, the experience we lose as well. Yeah, if I could sue for peace with the Atari right away, that'd be fantastic. Because then it's just the Oda and the Hatakiyama. But, you know. <laughs> uh, so, okay, so you wounded my dude. Fair enough. Eager to serve. Well, I need as much as... As many units as, as I can get right now. It does make my other dude a um, little bit... Oh, yes, we did get an extra one for Great Victory. Sweet. Because he gets minus one from Offstar Generals because he just joined the fray. Also, I totally forgot to change you to Commissioner for Development. Uh, or anything else other than Commissioner for Warfare, really. Um, none of them would have really mattered so far. Bonus to cloud wide tax rate would have maybe made me a little bit more money, but I'm not too worried about that. Campaign movement range is essentially pointless. Um, this would have saved me a little bit of money. Minus 2% of the cost of constructing buildings. Eh, whatever. Right, you're going to get that, and you're going to get... Uh, supply, I think, or finance. Both are pretty pointless at the moment, but... Yeah, let's take the extra movement. We might need it here. Alright. The ninja is actually still uh, not visible, which is unfortunate. So yeah, we are now... Yeah, one turn away from building the building. And that takes another... 
four turns. <laughs> and then we can recruit units. <laughs> oh god, I didn't think about the fact that I still gotta build the building too. No! This is horrible. Can I please recruit some units? Please don't declare war on me. Right, Hattori. Hey, my friend. I know it was just a mis misunderstanding. Damn it, really? What do you want? I want Speak peace, man. Do you not you understand what just own. happened? You got done. Here, give me my kid. Might be able to come to an agreement. You fucking what? Alright, fine. That's not happening. Actually, I have loads of money. Oi. What would it take? What do you want? Speak if you value your tongue. No, okay. Well, I mean, maybe if I did this as well. Wow. You drive a hard bargain, sir. My goodness. Did you not just see what happened? Speak your There's no way I can get enough money to reply. these people because we haven't done any battle yet. Um, and then the Oda. That's the big one. That's the one I'm most afraid of, I honestly. Have better things to do than listen to an Actually, the trade is problem. making it worse, probably. Speak and try to make sense. I'm trying to make sense, man. All right, fine. We keep fighting. Have it your way. Oh, there's the other guy. Okay, well, actually, that's the same guy who tried to succeed this time. He failed. Oh, unless he got one of my generals. Fuck, I didn't think about that. Uh, sabotage attempt. Okay, that's fair. Keep doing that. Keep trying to sabotage. Okay, right. So now we can build the building. Let's not forget to do that. In four turns, we can recruit... Units that take two turns to recruit. I can recruit one per turn. Per, per, per recruitment thing. <sighs> okay. Um, to get... Um, yeah, I'm gonna have fucked on this one too, aren't I? I need to get the Archery Dojo. Nope, it is the level one building. Okay, right. So in five turns, we can build a build. So in nine turns, I'll actually be able to recruit the archers here as well. And I'll be able to recruit two at a time of those. And to be fair, again, my income is so low that it, I'm not going to need many of them to fill up the whole income, or to reduce my income to zero, basically. So, it won't take long to actually recruit the units, right? Can we get rid of this fellow, please? 43% chance. What level is this guy? Fucking high. Level 2. Well, you did it before. Can you do it again? You cannot. Can you do it? Just, you know, 20%. Why not? Yeah, I didn't think so. Well, good thing I've got enough money to recruit more. Um, let's just pop him out here as bait, because I don't want him to go for my better nin uh, monk, because he's got a higher chance of succeeding here. This is not helping. I was going to use this monk for fucking you over, but now you're a ninja. has completely counterplayed me here. Uh, yep, nothing we can do. Alright, keep going. Please, no armies. No Oda yet, at least. No Hatakiyama yet either, so I'm guessing that they aren't here, which they usually aren't. Yes, go that way. That was the scariest thing about this whole situation, is that army of a faction I'm not even at war with yet. Okay, sabotage me, which is annoying, but it's not the biggest problem we have here. So, please, can we get rid of him now? I hope we didn't level up. Nope, not yet. He's gonna, though, soon. Oh, fuck. Look, I know it is your first day on the job, but... Oh, he's done it, too! <laughs> uh, okay. Military port. Yeah, I can fight them with my ships. What a great idea. Three turns away. Uh, I need to fucking get units, please. Let me check this again, actually. Yeah, I'm not going to try and do all the deals again, because it's not going to happen. At least we're going to have loads of money. That's nice. We'll be dead before we can spend... Oh, fuck. Okay, I mean, I can do a lot, but... Oh, it's all fucking bow samurai, too. And experienced. Oh, God, okay. Well, it was fun while it lasted, right? Okay, so here's the, here's the thing, though. I wouldn't have been able to get any units in either way if I had played this correctly. So... That does tell me that there's no way I could have done this regardless. If I fail right now, which I, I mean, let's look, let's face it, <laughs> I probably will. Um, I will probably try this challenge again. And then we'll see what happens. If anything, this is, this will be a fun one-off video, right? 
And uh, yeah, and if I if I legitimately can't do it, then what I'll probably allow myself to do is to use the starting units. And then the moment I can recruit, or the moment I have my first, um, like an Atta warrior monks, I will remove the units, or maybe I'll remove one for every unit I can recruit, and then you know, slowly whittle them away until I have none of my starting units left. But I think I think that would be the only way I can do this. Normally in the challenge runs, I always force myself to remove all units from the beginning. But I think in this one, it's just going to be too difficult. Because I'm still currently three turns away. But by the, night, by the time the next turn arrives, I'll be two turns away from being able to recruit my first unit. Which means I'm four turns away from getting an actual unit. Um, having said that, I will get one from the technology as well, which happens in two or three turns as well. Um, but either way, I will not have had any units by this point if I had played it 100% correctly. So, yeah. God, the thing is, I can't really do anything with these guys either. Um, because I, I can't go after their... their actually, yeah, their generals will fuck me up too. I literally just have no choice here. I just gotta sit inside and hope I can work this out somehow. Last time I had everything on my side, I could make them tired. They only had two archers, they've climbed up. Like, everything was working out for me. But now there's enemy generals. I'm still gonna put them outside and just hope I have a chance to do something, but... There's enemy generals who can fuck me up. There's too many archers for me to do anything specific. There's too many archers for me to sit up here and hope they climb up because they're going to be coming from different angles, most likely. Um, so yeah, I think in general this is going to be literally impossible to do. Um, okay, a bunch of Ashigaru there. There's three... No, that's... Damn it, if those three archers, I would have possibly charged them. There's three more... Okay, well, there's all the archers coming from that angle, so I can try and put these guys back here and hope they climb up, but... Again, even if they do, what does it matter? There's no way I can do enough. I'm gonna try and distract these six units at least then, I guess. Make them tired. You know, if that's, that's all I can do, then that's what I'll do. There's gotta be one more archer somewhere else, right? I thought they had six. Oh, and they have regular archers too, so there's some actual... There's Boshigar in here too. They'll definitely be able to fire at this. Well... I'm gonna try. Uh, Our general okay, is in grave danger. Not a good Lord. start. <laughs> no one's died yet. Come on, get out of there. There goes one guy, two guys. Three of them got away. Two more are gonna die probably. Well, that's not guaranteed. One of them died. Last one. Come on, balloon boy, get out of there. Get out of there. Yes, he made it. He's gonna run into this unit by the time I get done with this shit, but. Um, well, archers aren't firing yet. I'm gonna have to keep, kind of keep you around here. Wait for them to, I don't know what to do, honestly. All of my years of training Shogun 2 <laughs> have not prepared me for this. Oh, here we go. Alright, well, I'm gonna have to charge it. I gotta do something. Ah, this fucking... If I get close enough, they might run away. Damn it! No, I gotta, I gotta fucking veer off because there's a Yara unit right behind it. Although this isn't Free Kingdoms, or my dudes just instantly die. I could try and just, ha okay, I'll run away for a bit. I could try and free v two these generals. That might give me a chance, but okay, I need to get you guys over here because I've, yeah, this was way too late already. Um, run. Get in here. I did not fight this one properly either. Okay, generals are coming towards me. If I can get, kill them one at a time, that'd be great. I am distracting some units so they will be tired, but not everything anymore. Also, they can easily capture the point if they wanted to. I'm gonna have to run you guys around. Oh god, but they're coming from this side as well now. And behind us. Oh god, uh, I need to somehow protect myself against everything at once. And they're taking the point. <laughs> This is not how I'm gonna lose this one. Shit, I'm gonna lose this one like that. Ah, uh, I need to somehow get through. Just get surrounded. I need to get on the point so I don't lose it. Oh god. The I'm... enemy have taken the tower! Oh no. Where's the general at? Did he go back? Wait. Oh fuck, we're fighting him. Okay, well fair enough. Oh. Yeah, one of my generals got kind of fucked. 
I'm not gonna win this one. Let's be honest. Having it that 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 much is clear at this point. I if I at least tried somewhat, but I I just got messed up. Oh, I'm actually nine seconds away from losing this point right now. Get in there. I don't care how you do it. Get out of formation. Do the worst thing a Yari Shigaru can do. Two seconds remaining. <laughs> Zero seconds remaining. I know you get a couple extra seconds, but I think that might doesn't might not matter anyway. Get on there. Yeah, it's not going up. We lost. Even though we're on the point, it's... Yeah, well, that was fine. Okay, well, that, that's... Um, try number one, I suppose. I think, actually, without trying it again, I'm probably just going to immediately say... I will let myself keep the units, because otherwise it's not possible. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Also, this gives me a chance. I might actually... What I'll do is I possibly might up upload this video... I don't know if I'll be able to do it today, maybe tomorrow after all, but either way, I'll probably wait um, um, with, before recording any more so you guys can tell me what you think of the 1440p. Right, well... <laughs> hey, at least we won the Date! Still alive. The thing is, like, the problem with this kind of challenge is that it sometimes is a bit up to randomness. Like, if I got... I don't know, maybe luckier, I guess, if, if the Atari hadn't declared war on me. If a bunch of people had just said, okay, we'll fight each other for a bit, and I got a few more turns, if I had, like, I don't know, three units of Naginata Warrior Monks here, I would have had a pretty decent chance against that, to be honest. <clears throat> but I didn't. Um, I, I got the time that I was given, and that was never enough to recruit any units, so even if I had played it perfectly, as I said. So I think what I'll do next time is I'll let myself keep these starting units because it means it's slightly less likely that people will declare war on me because my power will not be feeble as it is right now. Um, and that might give me a couple extra turns which I desperately need to get my first units out because it's not really much of a monk units only challenge if I can't actually get to the monks, you know? Um, but yeah, imagine doing this with anyone else. If you do the Waisugi, you don't get... Um, in fact, I can just show you guys. Uh, wait, is it in there actually? No, I need to go to the monk building up forward. One sec, right, so the Buddhist temple, the first building doesn't give any uh, units, and the monastery is the one that gives both the Naginata warrior monks as well as the, well, Wisuki warrior monks, but either way, as well as the um, uh, bow warrior monks. So you, you basically need to get to the second tier, so you need, in order to get the first unit, you need this one as well. Whereas I just needed to get this, but I kind of fucked up. But again, even if I had that gone for it right away, I still wouldn't have had enough units, or enough time to recruit them. So anyway, um, that is going to be that for now. Thank you guys for watching this failed attempt at a monk units only challenge. Um... Yeah, let me know what you think of the 1440p. I really hope you guys don't mind, because I quite like the idea of being able to record, 1440, record 1440p. I guess I'll also be able to get a good test for what the quality is like. So this is, this is more like a test video, even though it's officially a Let's Play. Very short one, but you know. Um, yeah, we'll see. I'll let, uh, let me guys know what you think. Let me know what you guys think, even. <laughs> um, and then we'll see. For now, thank you guys for watching. Until next time, have a very good day, and goodbye.